Hi, hello. Welcome in. It's time to play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Okay, so last we were here, we rescued Dr. Johansson, dealt with Groomfeld Bach. Unfortunately, our Bach X LaCroix fanfic will never actually take off. A shame, but now that we have Dr. Johansson, we're taking him back to LaCroix, but the lobby's full of blood. Chunk is nowhere to be seen. Potentially Sabat foul play? Question mark? We gotta rescue them. Oh, look, we even have mission save Chunk up here. Okay, let's go save best boy. I hope he's still alive. If he's not alive, I'm gonna lose my mind. Chunk is what's keeping us going. I'm so nervous. Weapons not allowed? Do I... Do I have to literally put them somewhere? I don't have any out, unless you're talking about these fists. I do have my fists equipped. Yeah. Weapons not allowed? Okay. I don't know if that's a bug or what. Yes, let's do it. Oh, okay, everyone's fine? Where's Chunk? LaCroix, where's Chunk? Where's Johansson? Beckett? You can always count on the Sabbat to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. They're reckless, but they don't normally try to attract this much attention. This carelessness warrants observation. I hope it doesn't become pandemic. The Sabbat? What? I suppose I should have talked to the prince first. Back in a minute. Okay, purple lining me, why don't you? This still doesn't help us. You see those red eyes? Okay, not eyes. Definitely city lights. I was like, hello? You, you better tell me what happened to Chunk. <laughs> With whom do they think they're dealing? Attack me in my own building! They're desperate. <laughs> They've shown their weakness. A last-ditch attempt to steal the prize. You, you don't have to yell at me. Someone made a mess downstairs. The Sabbat. A pack of shovelheads with cheap pistols was all they could muster. Two got a few stories up, but I took care of them. And my sheriff brought the rest their final death in the lobby. Sabbat animals. What about Chunk? The Sabbat attacked. Why? Why else? The motive of every kindred in the entire city these last few nights. The Ankaran sarcophagus. They've been misled into thinking the sarcophagus holds a sleeping ancient. Their most coveted feasts. Oh. Diablerists. Oh, fuck. I had not even considered that the Sabbat would want the sarcophagus to diablerize whoever is inside. Could you imagine? Oh, my God. They drink the blood of the vampires. The Sabbat's infamy is in no small part due to their practice of diablery. I didn't know. That is, drinking the blood of other kindred, especially older ones, until they are dead. Uh-huh. Diablerists gain the power of those they've fed upon. And the Camarilla, this is an act punishable by death. For the moment, we've manipulated the press into reporting tonight's events as a terrorist attack. Their soldiers may be no danger to me, but their threat to the masquerade is abundant. As my best agent, oh. I'm sure you can guess my course of action. I'm your best agent, thank you. Oh my god, we're not gonna call the sheriff lazy. I do not have a death wish. And we're not gonna call him a gorilla, that's very rude. I don't know if it's gonna be my pleasure, but uh, I, I'm not going to shorten my lifespan by insulting 
the sheriff. You want me to wipe out the Sabbat? Um, it would be my pleasure? The Sabbat have made their haven at the Hallibrook Hotel, right under our noses here in downtown. Kill their leader. The rest will scamper out of the city. This is the last time they ever set foot in Los Angeles. Before you go, Beckett told me you went to the Society of Leopold. Did you find out how my sarcophagus is opened? Oh, are we going to extort Daddy LaCroix? Um, it would be an easy way to get money, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not that kind of girl. I would, I'd be very uncomfortable being like, give me my allowance. Um, at least like this. Oh, I'm also really nervous about giving him this information. I, I don't, I don't even know if this is something I want to open, the sarcophagus. Yes, I, I did. What? What did you find out? The missing crate from the Dane. It's a key to the sarcophagus. A key? Where? Do you have it? No, hun, calm down. <sighs> no, that's all I know. But I have other good news. Bok is dead. <laughs> Not only did you infiltrate the Society of Leopold, but you managed to kill their greatest hunter. You certainly are developing a legend for yourself. Superb. A toast to you, and to victory over the Sabbat. Yay. And to Bach. May all his progeny meet such fates. He's proud of us. Oh, it's the best reward. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Let's look at our options. Man, we just keep trying to extort him. I can do it when it's, like, a little pouty or playful. But, like... Oh, we can give him his journal? Oh, we gotta do that. Because all the fan fiction about LaCroix, I need LaCroix to know about. I need. I need him to know about. Not only did I kill Bok, I also found his journal. That should be valuable. Here. <laughs> Pity you don't have his head. I would have sent it to the Inquisitor General. Maybe we don't do that. Oh, he gave me money! <laughs> Yay! I... Guess I'll go prepare to take out the Sabbat. The Sabbat must be wiped out before dawn. Oh, okay. Then, when you come back, we'll begin the hunt for the key. Uh, all right. He's not mad at us. That makes me excited. All right. Um, still nothing of Chunk, but let's see if Becca has more stuff now that I went ahead and talked to LaCroix. You can always count on the Sabbat to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. They're reckless, but they don't normally try to attract this much attention. This carelessness warrants observation. I hope it doesn't become pandemic. The wrong thing for the right reasons? But what does that mean? The Sabbat's goal is to stop Gehenna. Fair. Which is very similar to my own, though they choose to do so through more violent, fanatic, and flamboyant methods. The Camarilla, on the other hand, suspends belief entirely. Or so goes the party line. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Does LaCroix want to diablerize the Ancaran sarcophagus occupant? I don't know if we've mentioned this before or not, but, I mean, he's the prince. So, who's he going to punish himself? Or who's going to punish him? I mean, maybe somebody higher up the MLM that is, uh, <laughs> that is the Camarilla. That's right. Hisui, you're right. Jack had said that before. That's why. Okay, I was like, I think we've talked about it, but... You're not Camarilla. What I am is kindred. How others choose to categorize themselves concerns me only where local customs are concerned. Individualism is a path fraught with obstacles and sometimes angry mobs. But for all its hardships, it is the only one worth taking. 
I met with Dr. Johansson. What did Johansson have to say? I hope I get to ask all of these. He said there was a key for the sarcophagus, but he doesn't know where it is. The lock and key. An invention as ancient as greed. I should have guessed. All we have to do is find a victor in this nonsense. They'll be the one with the key. He said it's also the tomb of Meserach, an Assyrian king. Assyrian origin. Glad to see I'm not losing my touch. As for Meserach, I'll have to research that name, see what I can find. Additionally, he said that the reliefs on the side were of a demoness named Lamastu. Lamastu? Oh. She was a Lilith figure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They represent empowered women and the threat of such women to male-dominated society. Strange she would be engraved on a king's tomb. Maybe it's her! Oh, wouldn't that be cool as fuck? And it's not Masarak. Or maybe it's both of them. That'd be cool. That's everything I know. Does it mean anything to you? It seems to corroborate my own evidence. I'm going to have to study it a little more. Maybe dig up some information on Meserak and the Lamastu myth. I'm certain the key will show up in time. Your information is appreciated. Here. The, the vampire apocrypha may help. Excellent. Have you learned anything else about the Thinbloods? How any sane kindred could think these poor unfortunates are an immediate threat yeah. to us is absurd. Most were afraid, or at the very least uneasy, around me. Tragic. Their desperation could very well hold the spark of revolution, however. You spoke of Gehenna before. Do you think this sarcophagus is part of it? Well, if we open it up and the world ends... Then yes. If we open it up and the world does not end, then no. I'd wager the latter. All right. Why would the Sabbat attack so openly? It's simple. Someone's misled them into believing there's an antediluvian in this very room. They, and I suspect most kindred in this city, would love to sink their stakes or teeth into its imagined occupant. If indeed rocketing it to the moon was out of the question. I'm... I'm supposed to wipe them out because of the attack. Well, perhaps for this pack, it's for the best. I had another question for you. Excellent. Tell me about yourself. Hmm. I've said quite a lot about myself already. I know even less about you than you do me. Oh. Why don't you tell me about yourself? I can do that. Okay, look at this. This is so cool. So we get these options, I'm assuming, based on certain stats. I mean, clearly uh, the seduction and persuasion. But because we have high humanity, I'm assuming, we get to say, I refuse to give it to the beast. Um, do we have a high int score? Because I don't know if I consider myself somewhat of a scholar, but maybe we have a high enough research even to to have this flagged up. But as Toreador, I, I've got to lead with the seduction. That's how we've been playing it. i got to do it. I've found it's easy to get what you want when you're as good-looking as I am. Sometimes I think the Nosferatu are justified in their prejudices. Fatality. But to each their own, I suppose. Unless you've Thank got you. further questions, I'd really like to get back to looking at the sarcophagus. I can be pretty and smart. <laughs> Let me see if there's more. I did have another question. Excellent. Oh, that's all of my questions. I, I have to prepare for that assault on the sabbat. Just because you don't appreciate it doesn't mean that it's not worth appreciating, Beckett. <sighs> okay. Well, I would still very much like to find Chunk. 
<gasps> what if they took him? It never occurred to me that they might have taken him. There's no blood behind here, right? Okay. Oh, look. You actually get to see the camera feed. Oh, I'm switching the cameras. Okay. We didn't see Chunk among the deceased. I'm gonna have to go through and really quickly look at all the doors because I wanna make sure that we're not just abandoning Chunk to some terrible fate. I know there was a door behind us, the one that's like right over there, but we can't get it. Well, let me try it again. I think it's because I clicked instead of pressed E. I think that's uh, the issue. If he got embraced by the Sabbat, I'm going to scream. But we can just take him in. We'll protect him. It'll be okay. He doesn't have to stay with them. Ugh. That would be so terrible. Our boy. Wait, what? Yeah, wait. Okay, Beckett has had many lovers, including Dracula himself. Yes, that Dracula, and it's canon? I love that. I really do appreciate the way that World of Darkness and Vampire the Masquerade as the lore set weaves in different portions of other vampire folklore, vampire legend, vampire, like, fiction. Like, from media. It's so good. Okay. So. Hollow Brook Hotel, correct? Let's stock up first. Because I'm assuming we're going to have to be doing a lot of fighting. And Larry is going to be able to hook us up. We've got enough blood. So let's make sure we've got enough ammo. Oh, that's right. Not too close. Baby girl. You know I got what you need. I need to do some shopping, Larry. Okay. Oh, all the stuff we've sold him over the years. Okay, so let's... Yeah, our inventory is heckin' full. I'm gonna sell these because we don't... The broadsword's cool, though. We've been keeping these. We can't sell this. Larry, why don't you want my arm? Larry will hold it for us. Because I need the inventory space. Okay, so what is our lowest weapon? So I just really need to buy some ammo. But do you not have ammo for me, my dude? Look, it's, we're all the way over here. Maybe I've sold him too much. Okay, good. I was worried that he wasn't going to let us buy that ammo because we didn't get the guns here. Okay, sweet. We've got plenty of money. Let's... Wait, you're having me buy individual rounds. Okay. Thirty's good, yeah? So what is this, the Giovanni book? I don't know who gets that, but I'm going to hang on to it. I also don't know who gets this. I'm going to look this up, like, when we get towards the end of the game. And so we can run around and, like, hopefully give things to people. Should I just sell those? Because I need to free up room in my inventory. I probably won't put more. Ah! Ah! Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. We'll let this, uh... We'll let this be for now. Okay. So. We've got blood. We've got backup blood. Oh, the book is for Pisha. Yeah, but we didn't want to murder that man. Okay, so it looks like Halibrook's on the other side of town. But, since we're here, let's run in here and check our email and shit. Say hello to Heather. Because I feel like it's been a hot second since we've been back. And then, yeah, we can go talk to Mercurio if you want. It's been a hot second. Awesome. Thank you. How you doing, Heather? No more shenanigans? Remember the time she, like, locked that dude in the bathroom? What a time. Alright. Heather? 
Hold on. Hold on. Heather? Oh, getting stuck. Okay, there was a bathroom downstairs. I hate to barge in on her, but I'm kind of worried as to where she is. Maybe, maybe she's just out. Maybe she's just out and everything's fine. I don't have to be worried about her. Okay, nothing in here. I can't remember ever coming back and her not being here. Okay, two on red. I'm glad we came back. Yeah, next please. Uh, uh, the White Bishop? We have so many emails. The White Bishop Falls. Are we talking about Bach? He's a religious person. Who is a friend? I'm gonna have to go back and look at all of these emails. See if there's something I can figure out. About the other night. Oh, from Romero! Why are you emailing me? How did you get my email address? <sighs> no. No. Oh, God. Okay. All right. About the other night from Romero at deadhead.vtm. Hey, I just wanted to let you know that what happened between us, uh, that was really special. You're a super girl. I mean it. But you and I... <laughs> Is he breaking up with us? <sighs> We're from different worlds, and... I'm not saying I wouldn't be down for whatever if the mood hits, but I think we should keep our relationship professional. I think deep down, you'll see it's for the best. Stay beautiful, Romero. This man, now I'm offended. This man thinks that he gets to dictate the lines of our relationship? That's not how this works. That's not how this works. As a Toreador, that's not how this works. I wonder if we can do anything about this. All right, all right. Plotting aside, let's... Okay, so we've got the White Bishop. Let's do previous. Okay, I don't have any more... Or maybe it's welcome? There's no more about chess pieces. Oh, all the previous emails of this guy disappear when you get a new one. That's frustrating. Let me put the pieces together. Okay. I'm a little worried about Heather, but I'm hoping she's okay. If somebody stole my ghoul as an attempt to be like... A shitter, we're gonna have problems. Can I? There we go. Okay. So we're in downtown. Romero's in Hollywood. Mercurio's in Santa Monica. Okay. Just minor pit stops, minor pit stops. And then we'll go and confront the Sabbat. Jesus. Oh my god, those just like be bopped between my ears. I did not like that. Man, if they did something. Oh wait, we gotta go pick up money. If they did something to Chunk, I'm gonna like. I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be real mad. God, when was the last time we went and picked up money? been so long. What? Money, right? Been a while. Your money's been piling up. Here, that should provide for an interesting evening. Yeah. Thanks. Keep it coming. Uh, not interested. I didn't say I was. All right. <laughs> my Toreador feathers are ruffled. <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> Hop in. Sure. Why not? All right, Santa Monica. We'll do Mercurio and then we'll do Romero. Lovely evening. I 
can't think of anything else we might want to do. Okay, Mercurio, Mercurio. Good, he should be right here. Perfect. We haven't talked to Mercurio in literal ages. There's a lady laughing. From number three. Couldn't we get into one of these at one point? But this one. I think it was for that bounty hunter or something. Picked up hey, a bud. Spaz 15 this morning. Cleaned, oiled, and just waiting to put a hole through something. You interested? Um, uh, sure, let's see it. Oh, okay. So he's got kind of the same things that I do. Oh, he's got a flamethrower? Oh, oh my god. Damage, which is 117. Dragon's breath? That's cool. Oh, wow. Okay. I guess we already have the gun that he was talking about because it's not here. But I want this. For sure, for sure. Do I? How would you give me? Okay, so we've got. Let's get more canisters. Okay. Dang, that's everything. Wow, uh, Mercurio. Uh, very, <laughs> very cool. Um, do I feel like I don't need this? Do we have a shotgun? Oh, we, we do have the one he was talking about. Nice. So the damage potential is much higher, though. Yeah, let's just sell it. I don't use half of these anyways, and we've got the money. Okay, so these are the ones that I need, the phosphorus. Oh, that actually sounds very helpful. That sounds like aggravated damage. Oh. Okay, oh, thanks, Mercurio. I didn't literally know that you had these on you. Took a trip to see a friend of mine. He's a quartermaster down at a police station in OC. Guy's been miffed about a pay freeze, so he's agreed to start filling my wish list for a cut. Oh. Got a SWAT rifle out of this trip. Interested? Uh, oh my god. Is this a different rifle? Than the one we've got? Oh, y yeah. And then some. Okay. Haha, -ha, we do have it. Okay. You might like this. Now this is not your everyday ordinary pop gun. Only a few people ever get their hands on one of these. Take a look. That looks studly. I'll definitely take one of those. Um, I'm assuming we bought whatever it was. How many more times do we have to do this? My Vegas connection paid me a visit this afternoon. Popped his trunk, and what do you know? Had a flamethrower, a few tanks of spare fuel. It's yours if you want it. But, uh, ain't you flammable? Yes. I don't need no bullets. Let the motherfuckers burn. Okay, cool. Hopefully that should catch us up to speed now. Prepared a little number called no. a dragon's breath. It's a modified sawed-off. Fires phosphorus shells. Personally, it's the only weapon I carry when I travel through Sabat country. Oh, I'd like one of those. Let me see it. Okay, now maybe we're done. Always a pleasure. What's the night's order? There we go. I need some info. Concerning? People. Who exactly? Oh. Gary. Gary? Sorry, name doesn't ring a bell. I had questions about somebody else. Who exactly? The sheriff. Big, silent, stone cold palooka. Never seen him in action, but I hear things. Here he's the last thing you see if you get on LaCroix's bad side. Say he fights like the devil. Not the kind of guy I'm gonna look in the eye, you know what I mean? I have questions about someone else. Who exactly? The Kuei Jin. Ah, you're talking about the Kuei Jin. Like you types, but different. Anarchs had just finished fighting him when the Camarilla came to town. Let me give you some advice. Stay out of Chinatown till they raised our flag in those parts. Really? I had some questions about somebody else. Who exactly? About Nines. Nines? I never actually met him, but I've been hearing about him for years. His operation's crude. 
But those Anarchs are mad dog vicious when they need to be. City's full of them. They're none too friendly with the Camarilla, so be careful around them. Okay. I had questions about something else. Concerning? Um, places. Specifically? Um... Downtown LA. Downtown's a mess. Always has been. I get called down there sometimes. Nines' people, LaCroix's people, a lot of tension in the air. A lot of drugs and a lot of crime. Sometimes I offload extra inventory, but I avoid downtown when I can. I had some questions about other things. Concerning? Places? Specifically? Santa Monica. Santa Monica's quiet, mostly. That is, till you came to town. Not a lot of operators of police here, which is why I like it. Not a beach person, personally, but there are some beautiful sunsets. I guess you wouldn't be interested in that, though, would you? No, not really. Okay, let's ask about the other two. Concerning? Specifically? Hollywood. Hollywood's been good to me. A lot of my business comes from Hollywood. Mm -hmm. A guy named Isaac runs the show. Yeah! Camarilla's got no presence to speak of there. Stop by the graveyard. Good customer of mine works it. We're about to go pay him a handy dandy visit. Concerning? Specifically? Chinatown. I don't go down to Chinatown. Nobody who does comes back. Something going on down there with the Quay Jin, I don't understand, nor do I need to. Stay out's the best advice I can give. As always, thanks for the info, Mercurio. Nice. Cool. Got us some handy dandy toys. I'm trying to think. I guess we could look at our quest log and see if there's any loose ends that I might want to tie up. We've got the Hellebrook Hotel. We'll never do the Pisha thing. Oh, tongue. Well, I mean, we're gonna be in the cemetery so we can try it again. Okay. Maybe that's at the Sinbin? Okay. So it sounds like we're going to Hollywood. Okay. Gonna go find our little taxi. Have some words with Romero. Going somewhere? Away from here. All right. Hollywood. It was already where I needed to be. Cool. The slaps. Okay. So. All right. We're going to try the door again. And, uh help Romero come to his senses. Although I guess we can't make him a ghoul. He's Isaac's ghoul, if I remember correctly. And that would be <laughs> bad manners of us. I wonder if we can confront him. No, my inventory is full? God damn it. I just cleaned it out. How's that whole blood sucking thing working out for you? What do you mean? Uh, not bad. How are things in the cemetery? Moon comes up, dead come out, hammer comes down. TV gets a uh, lousy reception. All in all, life's having a round swell. Oh, I, I, I don't want to do zombie killing. We can't confront him at all. I'm upset. Nice to hear it, I guess. Goodbye. Don't scorn Toreador. It's illegal. <laughs> Let's try that door. Now, I did go back and check. I did open it. I came out of the the war in that way. Okay, it is the one with the bones. I remember that. It should be like this door right here. Oh my god. 
don't know why it wasn't working previously. Oh, ee, oh, ah, that was not me. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, thank fuck. We couldn't find it last time. I don't know what was going on. I maybe just a reload of the game. Cool. Oh, we haven't talked to Gary in a hot second either. Oh, Gary. Being a creep. I don't think you can talk to Gary unless Gary wants to talk. Okay. Well, I gotta go find that CD, I think. I have absolutely no... Oh my god, camera, calm down. I have no idea where to go for it. Okay. Bertrand Tong is that you go back to the warrants and find his lost data CD. Okay. That could be anywhere. You have to pay really close attention. Maybe I can ask people for it now that I've got, like, the quest. I'm not sure I had it the first time I came down here. Okay, I don't think I have to... I'm like really keeping my peepers peeled. Even though it's very dark and hard to see. Okay. Oh, hey, Amalia. Do you know where Bertram's CD is? Hey. Hey, what's up, Amalia? Do you have a few minutes to talk? Sure, whatever. Oh, we never did this, did we? Okay, I guess for the sake of dialogue. Tell me why you hate 20 sessions? Uh, because she's a bitch with zero talent who the world seems to think has taken my place as the hottest supermodel of all time? Could I be any more clear? Oh, God. Um, wow. Normally I'd be like, whoa, that's enough for me, see ya, but... The fact that we've got more leads me to believe this is more. There's more to this. Oh no. We're gonna be that tough love friend. Only if you wore a shirt that said ugly, bitter, and proud of it. What did you say? Nobody talks that way to me. I'm Amalia. Do you hear me? Amalia! Oh, these are terrible. I hate both of them. They're not jokes. It's like... I'm sorry. I was intending to uh, help you see the kind of person that uh, you're coming off as. Uh, do you mind if I ask you a few more questions? Sure. Whatever. See, and then we still have it. Okay, let's do it again. Uh, because she's a bitch with zero talent who the world seems to think has taken my place as the hottest supermodel of all time. Could I be any more clear? So we can't say the number two because... Wait, do you want us to kill her? Oh, right. Um, so why not just kill her and get it over with. I don't want to kill her. That's too quick and painless. I want to ruin her name in the business for good. I want to dig up something on her that smells so bad even the tabloids will think twice about printing it. Um, so what's stopping you? Gary says that everyone has to lay low until this thing with the prince cools down. Until then, I'm stuck here watching the whole world kiss Tawny's big fat ass. Wow, there's nothing wrong with Tawny's body. Can we not? Um, maybe I could help you out? What would I need to do? I have some wireless cameras that I need you to set up in her apartment. One in her bedroom, one in her bathroom, and one in her kitchen. I'm sure you'll see good places to hide them once you're there. I feel like I'm going to lose humanity for this. What else? Once the cameras are in place, you'll need to hook them up to the network. 
Log into our computer using the password Cleopatra. How do you know the password? You'll be able to activate the camera. What do you think you're going to see? Who cares? Sex, drugs, bad hygiene. Everyone gets a little dirty when the door is closed. Tawny's no different, and probably worse than most. And, uh, what's in it for me? Look, I'll definitely make it worth your while if you do it right. But listen, I don't want her dead. I want her to suffer. Get in and get out without her knowing about it. Understand? I want to see content in the game, but this is really not good. And I don't want to lose humanity. Because, I mean, don't get me wrong, I understand that Amalia is very, very upset. I would be too if some Nosferatu waltzed in and turned me into uh, this. But it's not Tawny's fault. She's just misdirecting her anger at being stuck down here and looking the way that she does. She's going to take it out on somebody else. I guess I could sit in our quest log, worst case scenario. Ugh, fine. I'll do it. You will? Great. Here are the cameras. She lives in Hollywood, an apartment building right across from the Lucky Star Motel. I had someone here dig up a spare key to her apartment for me. Take that, too. Oh, God. Um, cool. Can I ask you a few more questions? Sure. Whatever. Okay. That was all. I'm out of here. Let me ask about the data CD. Okay. Where is that even gonna be? Okay, so this is a storeroom. I know we found something, we found blood here earlier, I think. I'm just, I'm worried it's not gonna be shiny. We got that one, that one, that one. Gotta keep my eyes on the ground. I'm so worried it's gonna be something like that and I'm gonna like walk over it because it looks like the rest of the detritus that's hanging out here. Cause I assume it's gonna be in like one of the rooms, right? There's bunk beds in here, there's bunk beds in here. I'm trying to be very, very thorough. Here typing, but I don't see typing, and that's creepy. Was this Mitnick's room? Oh, shit. Okay. Keeping an eye out. God, this reminds me of the one time we were like looking for dog tags in Mass Effect, and it was just like. Oh. We're keeping our peepers peeled for that CD among all of this. I guess I shouldn't say crap. This is not my house, not my stuff. God, I can barely even see in here. It's not gonna, I, it better not be somewhere like ridiculously obscure. I'm kind of halfway certain it is though. I almost didn't make that one. Data CD, if I was a data CD, this man, we never got an explanation for this either. I'm like second guessing everything I look at. Better not be that like stick of gum or something over there. I mean, obviously if it's a stick of gum. I see lots of cans. Maybe an old journal? I wish Gary was here so we could at least ask him which room Bertrand stayed in. Why does he not want to go back to the Warren and grab his own stuff? Okay, we're gonna go in the other... It's not gonna be on the end of the pier. I, I legitimately can hardly see. Okay. I'm gonna go in this side, and if we don't find it... I'm not gonna spin our wheels on it. I like to think I have a 
high perception score, but... <gasps> Wait, is that it? Yes! Oh, thank God. Sweet. Okay, so now I gotta go back to Bertram. I wish there was lore for the dead dude. Also, it feels bad that they just, like, left this little body out there. Nobody, like, cleaned him up? Put him in a little vase? Maybe they just don't care about him. Not sad. Gary could have been so much help if he wanted. That's the thing, though. I don't think he wants to. Oh, I don't need to jump. He's happy to let us, like, squirm and suffer. Don't do that. Ladder, I'm gonna need you to behave, please. Can we just mosey our way? Perfect. Amazing, and we are out of there. I can't believe you can actually replay the zombie stuff. That's absolutely wild. Why would anyone in their right mind wanna do that? <laughs> okay, so no ooing in my ear. It's very rude. Okay. What now? We need to go back to Santa Monica, I think? Reinstall bloodlines. Do it. You know you want to. It's so good. You can play so many different ways. It's got so much replay value. All right. We out. Okay. So yeah, we gotta take that back to Bertram in Santa Monica. Let's do that. I love that we're like talking to all these people we haven't seen in like 17 years. Oh, you know what? We need to go check on Ash. Remember we found him in the society of Leopold and he was like, not okay. Uh, no. I kind of doubt he's even here. So maybe what we need to do Where's the upstairs? It's right here. Let's go talk to Isaac. It's the hops, bro. Bud. Hey, get out of there. I gotta get up there. You're in the way. <laughs> the Miz is doing some this? casual squats. Yeah, let's go check with Isaac instead. I took that corner way too fast. All right, so Isaac and then Bertram. <laughs> I just keep remembering all this stuff. Oh, and we were supposed to look for something else at the sin bin, weren't we? <laughs> Wait, what was I looking for at the sin bin? Last year's jock shot magazine swimsuit shoot. Is that something that would be in the sin bin? I mean, Maybe. We can, all we can do is ask. If he doesn't know, he doesn't know. And then we just move on to Isaac. What can I do to you, honey? Uh, what do you mean? Is he a merchant, dude? Hold on, hold on. Um, maybe I can use some of your stuff. Show me what you've got. He is! How have I never done this? I don't need any of these things, but my inventory is full. We've just got so much shit. Oh well. Okay, he doesn't have anything. And I don't know if it's something that we're just gonna find randomly in here. I could see them like leaving it on a shelf or some shit, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now. If we're getting to like the last quest and I still haven't found it, then I should be worried. But not yet. Okay, to Isaac. Oh, freaking chicken. We have really good Korean fried chicken in LA. It's really, really good. Oop, it, it's not my problem. It wouldn't let me go through. Okay, so the apartment for Tawny should be here. But first Isaac. 
Should we do the Tawny quest? I'm not sure. Is it too mean? I'm worried it's too mean. Or that I'll lose humanity. Can we ever go in here? I would like to go in there. Evening. We can't tell them about Ash? I have a few questions. Certainly. Oh, what can you tell me about Vivi? You've met Vivi, have you? Of all the kindred I know, she seems the most alive. She's still young, though, but nonetheless adept. She's not my child, but she's become like a daughter to me. Oh, I thought she was. We didn't have anything else, and it won't let us talk about Ash, so I'm really kind of concerned, but... Later, Isaac. All right, first thing we're gonna do. Oh God, it scared the shit out of me for that one second, for that blip. Okay, all right, so let's go back to Bertram. I'm really concerned that we can't tell anybody what happened to Ash. I'm worried about him. Where to? Drive. I'll tell you when the mood hits me. Back to Santa Monica. To Bertram. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. I'm just getting out of here. <laughs> I think we hit him when we did the login. The face of the demon, and it is excited. Hey, got your CD. Ah, back so soon? Did you make it to the Warrens and find my data CD? I did. Here you go. Ah, excellent. Now listen up, fledgling. You might want to take notes. Oh, is he giving us a point in computers? Whoa, you're the computer master. Can I ask you a few more questions? Like what? Cool. Uh, let's see if there's anything we didn't get. I want to know about someone. Sure. Oh, this scene is dead. I'm out of here. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that's kind of rude, but... Sweet. Okay. So, did we decide about the Tawny session stuff? Did we want to do her quest? Or is it just too mean? Oh my god, dude. Calm down. Need a ride? Yeah, just drive. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to save beforehand. I'm going to do the quest. And if it's the absolute worst, I just go back to the save. It's pretty nasty, TVH. Is it nasty as in like what we do to her is very mean or what we see is very nasty? Oh no, I'll not feel good no matter the end. It's mean, but you don't lose humanity. Oh, it's both? Hmm. I'm gonna save here, we're gonna do the quest and depending on how we feel at the end of it, we can revert back to this previous save or not, okay? I think that's how I want to do so if I do like become so disgusted at what's going on here we can just erase our memories a little eye bleach afterwards with Nuggie and call it a day <laughs> all right I don't expect this one to last super long so we're probably fine but I'm a little nervous Yeah, yeah, we're just gonna hire a mage, reverse time. That's a valid realm of magic and world of darkness. That's what Marco's family is, the Strabons. They're all mages, and uh, a lot of them do the time magic stuff. Yeah, there we go, an alternate timeline. Pilfered Prof, on Karin Sarcophagus' discoverer, kidnapped from hotel. It's okay, we got him. Okay. So we've got 101 that we can't go down. Oh, is this... 
Tell me the truth. Oh, we gotta be stealthy too, right? Okay, okay. We gotta put one in the kitchen. This is a dining room. Oh, she's in the kitchen. Where did she go, though? Less politically stable countries will cause extended economic recession. A tourist okay, she, somebody's on the couch, but it looks like a dude. The Venture Building was the site of an armed assault and bombing that has made city officials worried that more likely to follow. Is she in the kitchen? Oh my god. cameras went dead when a bomb was set off on floor 10. The terrorists responsible were killed in the explosion. No group has taken responsibility for the bombing yet. I don't know how high my stealth is. Okay, so is she going in the Venture Building attack? She is going in the kitchen. Congress are protesting the <sighs> Fuck me. Disclosed details of meetings his staff had last year with the heads of several energy companies. They say measures agreed upon will increase air pollution and give okay. large tax breaks. We're in an area that we can be in. So what is this? Okay, camera. <gasps> he just roundhouse kicked that door open. Oh, a computer. Okay, so this is what we do at the end. Got it. That was really funny. The roundhouse kick. Okay, where is she? Oh, wait. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh my god. Okay, we had to put one in the bathroom? Okay, and then one in the kitchen. Ghost door. Okay, okay. I'm gonna wait and see where she's pathing. We gotta be so fast. No group has taken responsibility for the bombing yet. This is the first time a terrorist attack okay. has taken place in Los Angeles. More in the venture building attack as it breaks. Several members of Congress are protesting. Okay, where, where, where? Right there. Okay. Details of meetings we're going to go back in here, here and then when she passed back into the bathroom, we're going to head out. Someone there? So he's going to be in there in a hot second, but I don't know where she is now. <sighs> shit, 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 shit. Oh, yeah, we got to activate the thing. It was Cleopatra, right? Cam check. Okay, three cameras detected. Nicely done. I can't wait to see. Dirty little tiny in action. We're monitoring you from here. Get out quietly and come back. Okay. Okay, so he's gonna pass back. I need to see where she is and what she's doing. The venture building was the site of an armed assault and bombing that has many city officials worried that more likely to follow. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it and hope I'm fast enough. Men enter the building around midnight. Shortly after this, cameras went yeah. dead and a bomb was set off on floor. All right. The terrorists responsible were killed. Let's get out of here. Okay. We did the thing. Now what? Oh my god. 
have to go back to... Oh my god. Okay, we're in Hollywood. I'm so worried this is gonna be nasty. I mean, y'all have said it's nasty. I'm worried about how nasty. This is not behavior that I condone. Really, what Amalia needs is some therapy, but... I, I doubt she's going to go get any. Alright. Can I just try to take the shortcut? <laughs> no ooing at me. It's very rude. And I don't appreciate it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It was the left side, right? Left and then right? Yeah. All right. Here we go. We can stand up in here. We should be fine. All right, Amalia, what have you done? What did I help you do? I forget which one is hers. Is it this one? Hey, I was right. Oh, what is it? Oh. Okay. <laughs> did you see the papers? She killed herself. Can you believe it? After the story hit the tabloids, she swallowed half a bottle of Valium and washed it down with a fifth of gin. It couldn't have been more perfect. Oh, that's... That's definitely... I mean... Uh... I fucked around and I found out. You... Honestly make me sick. Get some therapy. But I'll take the money that you owe me. Here, you definitely earned it. I did lose humanity. Shit. Was it worth the money? Uh Okay, well. <laughs> we know what we're doing. You're sicker than I thought. Later. Okay. Because I want the experience. Maybe if we don't take the money. Let's see. Do we have an autosave? Yeah, what's this autosave? You know what? We could drown our guilty conscience on the dance floor. Let's do that instead. Yeah, she's just a really bitter nos. Did you imagine being so petty? Let's go dance our troubles away. <sighs> oh, that's what Cleopatra is, is taking conventionally attractive people and turning them. That's terrible, honestly. Like, I know it's like, the Nos trying to feel superior and like, haha, you're vain, isn't this funny? It's really just petty and miserable. Like, tell me you're not the most sad, miserable, pathetic person without telling me that directly. Okay, let's go dance it off. We can dance in the ass pole. You know, I would like to think that therapy works for the undead, but I honestly don't know. It's about wanting to be a better person, a lot of it, and learning things about yourself. And oh, there, oh, oh, there we go. All right, five minute countdown. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yeah, it is totally like jealousy that makes Nos behave that way. It's wild. Right, and, and we can understand why they do it without it being like, a good thing to do or something we would endorse. Out of my way. Shh. We have a boy. Sorry. 
Oh, tragedy. Out of my way. A child. Okay, we're dancing. We're doing it. It's just a matter of time now. I feel bad because this is clearly not the music that's supposed to be in here. But like, clearly it's a uh, copyrighted. Hey buddy, go your own way. Yeah, basically is a silent disco. What we're going to do the next time when we play this is I am gonna risk it. And uh, I'm gonna try it without the copyright mod and see how far we get. It's gonna be really hard because like if we start to have a lot of stuff muted, it's not stuff I can get back. That's just hard. Like sometimes by the time we get done with the stream, parts of the stream has already been muted. And that's just entirely cut content. Like I, I can't get the music back. Like in YouTube, like they'll flag it and it'll change monetization usually. And then you can like edit out bits, but on Twitch, like my my whole vod's just ruined. So that's frustrating. Vampire therapy would be would be an endeavor, and I'm sure most of them need it. Stuff. Yeah, we did it. Here, we don't have to dance anymore. Next Not time, <laughs> I can't escape. <laughs> there we go. Next time, I'll save Ray. Here, so uh, we remember. Next time, we have to do. Um, we have to prep for Sabah. There we go. Done. All right. So, I hope that each and every one of you have a wonderful rest of your day or night, whatever time it is, wherever you are. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more content, you can check out these videos or my stream on Twitch or my reaction content on TikTok. All the links are in the description. Have a great rest of your day.